Good morning, everybody. I am Rosa Sister. That is Chris. Couple get surprised when whale does a belly flop on their yard. Well, let's get straight into straight it. Straight to it. Gonna get it in, get it on, get it over, get it done. How how much did that whale weigh? We talked about tons. yesterday. Forty, 40 times. Tons. Forty tons. Which well, is eighty thousand pounds, if I'm not mistaken. We we uh, <coughs> I read the story, and it's this uh, I think it's a British couple. Their yacht's a thirty-five foot yacht, and they the the story was actually talking that maybe that couple antagonized the whale because they saw it from 100 meters away and uh, um, they saw it from 100 meters away and that it came it ended up coming up and then just like the whole mass and all that kind of stuff all kind of so were they doing this I saw there. all the pictures Go they showed on. they showed uh, eight pictures how do you antagonize a whale it could have been Whale watching and so on. I'm a Bud Light. <laughs> but it showed it hit the front, <laughs> crashed the mass and everything, but the boat still floated. It did not hurt the boat. Yeah, it, well, it did. It, but just, it still floated. Oh, yeah, it floated. It was the, it what's the like, mass, the mast yeah, or mast or whatever. The tall part broke that over. Yeah, but other than down. that, oh, and it left some belly fat on the boat. <laughs> well, that's not a big deal. <laughs> but other than Bye that, Bud Light. but they were okay and so. I heard say we're in zone. Oh goodness, that teeth. All right, episode one, the pilot episode has been cut together, and it 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 needs a little bit of time on it. And before that camera came on, Russell and I were arguing about how to get the time. He's already called a writer, figuring out how to get a little more time. So if he seems a little out of here, he's he's hitting mine somewhere I'm thinking else. Thinking about how to get four minutes. <laughs> and. We only have 845 different ideas. Correct. Right. That who knows which one will be the best one. Hey, you so, know what? I'll come up with one and we'll use mine. Okay. Because I'm amazing, but I'm not quite as amazing as this 53-year-old woman, Emma. And I didn't put her last name because I have no idea how to say it. She failed to get in through the first round of Britain's Got Talent and is suing Mr. Simon Cow for humiliation. You want to know how much she's suing Mr. Simon Cow for? How much? Two million dollars for that lost been my guess. One point five million for compensation. And wait, four hundred fifty thousand for injuries is what I'm guessing. You are amazing. I'm guessing. Let me ask you how she get hurt. Amazing. She did it. That's what I'm saying. She's how got this. She's got this cervical um, something neuritis and. She went on this rant and rave about how, oh, I have no idea where she's getting all these claims and stuff for, so it's just... They'll throw it out. It's it's just crap. It's one of the craziest things I think I've ever heard. Uh, don't you sign a waiver? Don't you sign a waiver when you first get on that show? Well, just like sure. I'm sure there's a waiver this, this big. Thing. And nobody reads it, I'm sure. And, well, guess what? You're... S O L. Well, and and two million for lost earnings. Really? Did you did you were you going to make two she million dollars in that? Yeah, she might have thought she was going to be somebody famous. Yeah, I just I don't, I don't know. It's just I'm, I'm. That you know we talked about this the other day. The dumbest criminals. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, I, you one. know what? I have been finding these, and I'm like, I cannot not put them down. I have to put them down. It's just. We go from one crazy lawsuit to there's a Terrence Mitchell of Iowa. He gets caught on security camera trying to steal security cameras. Duh. Hello. That, that's, that, I like that right there. Isn't that crazy? I mean, the, the story just was, and this guy, he, I don't know, he looked like a... Listen, when they have a whole series on True TV about dumbest criminals, I, I, I can go on and on. Well, I have a question. Since we're making fun of him and humiliating him, do you think he would want to sue us? Probably. Two million in lost earnings, one point five million in compensation, and four hundred and fifty thousand for injuries. 
probably what each of us for. I am doing the uh, <laughs> text right now of the show, of figuring out. He said he has something in his mind that he is writing right now that he had thought about putting in the first episode but didn't think it would fit. Well, would, you, would you like to go make a phone call? Nope, I've texted him. Okay. We're good. Okay. Go with it. Well, Thanks, you know bro. what? I better check my time watch because... <laughs> oh, we're, we're way out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. I, and we only yeah, have we a couple long, more. This is almost going to be like episode <laughs> one. We're running out of topics. <laughs> and stretch got a lot moment. of damn time. Uh, hey, did y'all know that um, Dr. Dre and Justin Bieber are doing a collaboration right now? Dr. Dre's wanting to do this comeback, and uh, I'm guessing you're thinking maybe Justin well, Bieber Well, I be. know Eminem and Pink has done one. That's a good Ooh, song, too. Yeah, pretty good I little like song. That. I see it on the uh, Sports Center. But yeah, so um, Dr. Dre and Justin, is it Bieber or Bieber? Bieber. 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 Ah, Bieber. Bieber. Clemson quarterback Kyle Parker turns down first round major league offer of $1.2 million signing bonus with the Colorado Rockies to stay at Clemson and quarterback. Yep. He will be the first NCAA player to have 20 touchdown passes and 20 home runs in one academic year. No, he was he, he was he the is first. The yeah. first. <clears throat> now, I don't know, man. Now, I know, I know you have said before, you know, and I think you have too about you risk injury and you know that that offer is not going to be if if he has money if he has money he can go get an insurance policy that would pay him a million bucks if he gets hurt mm -hmm. I mean I, that's that's one of the things I think they could do is insure these players mm -hmm. I mean, Lisa Gibbons on Entertainment Tonight had her legs insured for $1 million yeah. way oh, yeah, back in the day. Right. That's right. In case, you know, well, she got cut, stabbed, I, I wrecked, know, whatever. I, I, I'm <clears> thinking <throat> I'm taking that signing bonus. You've got to be good enough to know you're playing at least double A or triple A level to do that. Now, I say that because Quan Cosby did that, and then three years later, he went in. Finished his couple of years of football and graduated at what, 27, 28, 26? Well, he never went to college. Right. Once you go to college, you can't leave and come back. Because you, once you start, you only have five years to complete your eligibility. Unless you get kicked out. Then you don't get to go back, period. Well, no, that 44-year-old football player coach did because he got kicked out for five they but remember, he had to go back and start over. and go before the board and That's get approved to come back. So you can't leave and go, you know what, I'm going to go pro, and if it don't work out, I'm going to come back and play football. I, I just don't think they'll let you do that. The, the uh, I, I, baseball association people are like, this is the dumbest move they think. Now, uh, Texas running back, Ricky Williams, he took a signing bonus for baseball and played baseball while he was at Texas playing football. During the summer, he would go play baseball. Yeah, but they stopped that, didn't they? Because that was like a, uh, yeah, an athlete getting paid, I think. I, I'm taking the 1.2 million, man. Have you have you seen, have you y'all been uh, hearing or seeing any of that talk about the uh, recruiters and how ticked Alabama. off some of the, yeah, some yeah. of the coaches are with some of these recruiters and calling them they're pretty much like pimps well what they're doing is throwing those kids money to get them to sign with right. them and they turn into the pros and what's happening is all these colleges are having to pay the price for it because they're the ones who get Who's all the these, all the sanctions against them mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> you, you can't babysit those guys you cannot babysit those players 24 hours a day no. seven days a week right. absolutely so just like they said, at some point the NCAA has got to step in or someone has to step in and make it the agent. Yeah. They are, yeah, that's exactly right. You cannot do it. But you know what? The coaches do it. The coaches do it with those high school players. Yeah, that, yeah. They go in and butter them up. That's true. Shaquille O'Neal, eighth grade, when, uh, Dale Brown. Dale Brown. Right. When Dale Brown 
saw him walking across a military unit 